Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossgray in BL Tonight, one of the leading investment banks right here in Jamaica, Burrito Investments Limited, ticker symbol BIL, trading in their shares, advised by the company that a connected party sold just over 223,000 shares on June 30th, 2022. Now, Key Insurance Company Limited, General Insurance Company, talk about a big difference maker since Grace Kennedy has gotten involved with Key. Now, coming out here with an advisory, 60 days audited financial results. That's a notice or an advisory here. Key Insurance, an update from the company, General Insurance Company, that effective next year. That's 2023. It will be filing its audited financial statements within 60 days of its financial year end. No major conglomerate, only a few of them listed on the JSE, the Jamaica Stock Exchange. Pantam Investment Limited trade in their shares as well. Advisory that on the 1st of July to kick off July uh, 2022 by Panjam, four senior managers were issued a total of just over 22,000 shares in Panjam under the employee share purchase plan. That's a good look. We love to see that on Business Live, you know, in terms of confidence or skin in the game, you know, senior managers or executives getting shares in a company, whichever company it is, you know, publicly traded on the JSE. Panjam also advised, advised that a connected party sold just over 137,000 shares in Panjam on the same day, July 1st. Now, some earnings reports still coming out here. G West Corporation reports an improved year end for 2022. That's the year end in their case. It's not, let's say, you know, a December year end, but it's actually a March 31st year end of this year. These are the audited financial statements for G West. Let's go by the numbers on Business Life. Revenue, Jamaica, 146 million for actually, you know, for that period, 2022 versus 2021 year end, uh, 113 million. Now, net profit was actually 24 million versus 22 million year over year. Finance costs did increase, though, in terms of how they've been financing the business 40.4 million Jamaican versus 37.1 million uh, year over year. And what caused this whole, you know, improvement in results overall here in terms of especially the bottom line? You know, fair value gains, that's the whole, you know, properties uh, improved actually during the year or came out at 60.9 million. Uh, Played a large role in the year's profitability. Last up tonight, we got oil prices here. You know, actually today they have pulled back quite a bit, but actually heading in today, oil just rocking and rolling, still at around 110, but they've pulled back on some of the US uh, recession concerns. So oil showing really no signs of easing up, but we got a little bit of a break today. We'll see what happens, you know, going forward for the rest of the week. But what is happening with oil, especially with the reopening of China and therefore supply worries continuing to persist. But you drop in there the whole recession mix, we'll see what happens, but oil trading down something like you know eight percent or so getting closer to a hundred but right before that let's say 110 us dollar price level you know per barrel so we'll see how this kind of seesaw battle roller coaster battle ends up with oil prices especially with the impact on inflation we know what's happening with interest rates globally and just prices overall and transportation that's what oil is using fuel and gas etc especially around g7 countries the us and so forth gobbling up this very important commodity i'm mark crosscree this is business life.